Unfortunately, this is the difference between third world countries and a country like the United States where we have a lot of money. Over in Africa right now, Western Africa, bodies dumped in streets as West Africa struggles to curb Ebola. Uh, this is just so horrendous and horrible. And the problem with this also is these bodies are not being um, cremated. Uh, people that are infected with Ebola, the body has to be cremated at least. That's the least they have to do. And, you know, they should also spray it with certain chemicals before they even cremate it. Because if you don't, what happens is the Ebola virus stays in that body for days. We don't know how long it stays, but we know it's days. So because of this, if somebody accidentally or for whatever reason comes in contact with that dead body that has Ebola virus in it, then they're likely to contract the Ebola virus. And so that's why so many people are upset over there because what they're doing is they're just, the body is right out in the street, you know, being uh, buried in areas and, and the bodies may not even be cremated, I don't think. So that prevents a serious situation that could infect many more people. And so also it's a lack of supervision and uh, leadership and, and the ability for those in control over there to make and oversee things go properly. And that's a big problem. Uh, I don't know, you know, some way they need to get leadership over there and take control of these situations to, pres to stop some of the problems that are going on. Because if you don't stop the problems and don't stop some of the things they do, then how are you going to ever get a hold to the deadly Ebola virus? It's just going to continue to grow stronger there and infect more people. Um, I mean, you got things going over there like eat they're eating, some of them eating bush meat. Uh, which I've shown you evidence of that in my videos, which is monkey, and if you, and the monkeys are known to um, to have the Ebola virus. So if you eat it, then you get the Ebola virus. And they do the same thing some of them with bats. So when you have this type of activity going on, you know, th this, it makes it impossible to ever stop the uh, this outbreak of Ebola. Now I want to go ahead and show you this video right here. and families come to this morgue in the Liberian capital to collect their loved ones' bodies. The bodies of 21 of the latest Ebola victims are being taken to a burial site. More than 700 people in West Africa have died from the deadly disease. Ebola is highly contagious and kills up to 90% of people infected. Ebola is here, we need to be very careful. It's a long, slow journey as stringent procedures must be observed to keep the bodies isolated. Specialists say the point of death is the time when a body is most infectious. But suspicions, superstitions and fear are rife in the Liberian capital. Villagers don't want the dead buried here as they're afraid they'll catch the disease, which has no known cure. Soldiers are deployed at the site to ensure that the burial went ahead. Eventually, a consensus is agreed. The bodies would be buried. Okay. We apologize. <clears throat> Thank you. But as a digger starts to make a grave, it becomes stuck in the mud. The trucks filled with bodies have no option but to wait by the side of the road. Without proper education about Ebola and the right tools to combat it, officials won't be able to contain the disease and prevent it from spreading.